Hello, welcome to Sunfire Designs. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make this amazing, gorgeous moon tray. It is beautiful, it has nice deep sides. I made this one the other day. It's got a little bit of clear underneath uh, going through it. Um, it's got glow in the dark stars, although I am not gonna put them in this new version I'm doing, but it's got a bunch of different colors um, and glitters and glass and things like that. So I'm gonna make th this one in colors of purple and green. So let's get started. I already mixed up my resin and I already colored it. So the, for the white, what I used, and excuse the wrapping, this makes a mess every time I use it, I don't know why. But I used Unity Resin and it is called Extreme White. You can see, I just got it all over my hand. Um, but it made this really nice opaque white, which will look really cool in the um, moon. The next thing I mixed up was I mixed up this silver holographic glitter. It's ultra fine glitter. And I got it at Michael's. So it's extra fine glitter. Um, and it's called Bling is the name of it. So I've had that for a very long time, but I'm sure they probably still have it. So that came out kind of cool. The next thing I did is I mixed um, some crushed glass. I have green here and purple. So I mix them together. So it has both green and purple and they don't mix like mix mix. So they'll be cool to put next to each other will be pretty cool. Um, the next thing I did is I mixed up some of this iridescent like cellophane. I'm not exactly sure what you call it. And I couldn't tell you where I got this. I got it when I first started doing resin a couple years ago, but I mixed that in and it's got like a purple green so it, it flashes between purple and green so i thought that might look pretty cool um, the next thing is i mixed up some deep purple and that is from just resin and the name of it is violet plum and it's really really cool resin i really like just resin they make very nice things all right and then finally i mixed up a green the green is a little more translucent and the green is from Let's Resin, and it is re resin pigment paste. It's the opaque resin pigment paste, and it is just called green. All right, so that's what I've got here. So I probably will not use all of this. I think I made a little bit too much, but I have other projects that I like to use it for. So um, I always start off with the glass, and I always mix it up really well before using it because it all sinks to the bottom as I'm sure you're well aware. So I'm gonna just mix this up really well, and then I'm gonna pour it. And I like to pour in kind of like diagonal lines or in V shapes or something, whatever, whatever works for you. And you can see the green tinted it a little bit green, but that's okay, I do not mind, I'm not mad at all. All right, so next to that, I'm going to put some of the green. So here we go. I'm just gonna put some there, a little bit here, and a little bit down here. And I can go back and add more as I need it. I like to just start off with, um, with a little bit and then add more as I need to. All right, next we're gonna do the holographic glitter. And I mixed up a little bit less of this because it can kind of overwhelm things if you're not careful. But the good thing is, is doing it this way, they kind of stay in their own rows. Another way you can do this is if you have a split cup. I have had good success with a split cup before. I just, um, I don't have a split cup that has this many compartments in it. So I have six different things I'm mixing. So split cup probably wouldn't work for this. But now I'm gonna put in the deep purple. And on the sides, it's, whoop, went a little heavy there. On the sides, all the extra goes into in the edge. And that's fine because it'll all mix together and um, not mix together, but it'll kind of have different layers and it'll look pretty cool. All right, now I'm gonna go in with the um, iridescent paper, cellophane, whatever it's called. I really, I wish I knew what it was called. If anybody knows, you can say it in the comments because that would be helpful. So I'm just pushing that somewhere. 
All right. And then finally, I'm going to go in with the white. And then I'm going to go back and add more where I think I want it. Um, <clears throat> the sides are going to look the way they look no matter what. I can't really do anything about it. They kind of just move to be next to each other. And that's fine. I don't mind it. It's just... Uh... I also mixed up a little less white because it does... Um, it can be a little overwhelming sometimes. And a little more up here. And you can, after you've poured it, take a, um, a silicone spatula and kind of go through and move things up around the way you want to. All right, I'm going to go back and I'm going to add a little bit more of the crushed glass back on top of where the crushed glass is just so I've got... Um, a good amount of that in there. Put a little bit down here. I do not know what's going on with my voice. I can only assume it is allergies. They're the worst. All right, go back in with some green. And a little more purple. Not a lot more purple, because the purple is pretty overpowering. Okay, some more of this. And down here. <clears throat> really hate the way my voice sounds. It sounds like I'm smoking 12 packs a day or something, which is not true. I did, I was a former, I am a former smoker. I'm really glad I quit. But I didn't sound like this until recently, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's allergies. And I'm gonna do a little right here. And one thing you need to watch out for is to make sure that the rock is flat enough, otherwise it'll stick up from your, um, stick up from your tray and then your tray won't sit flat, so. A little bit more white. I really like how the white is kind of, it's almost blooming right here. It's kind of just moving. It's really thick, so it will, um, <clears throat> it'll do that. I'm gonna put in a little more of this because it's not overwhelming. And maybe right here, a little more purple. Okay, and then maybe a little more green. I had intended on this being more purple than green and obviously you can see that that changed because I'm really digging the green and I made the purple a little thick. Dark, not thick, dark. All right, it's almost to the top here. I am just gonna take a, um, <clears throat> a silicone tool and kind of make sure that this is resting flat. I actually can put a little bit more resin in here. It's got a little bit more before it's totally full. I'm just kind of using the clear part of this because I don't really want to add more um, glass. Probably should have kept some clear to hold aside. Um, I'm thinking this is looking pretty good. I'm just gonna add a little more of the silver. And maybe right here again. Whoops, dipped my cup in it. I'm being kind of a slob today. All right, I think I'm pretty happy with this. Like I said, you can go and move stuff around if you want to, but I kind of like it when it just dumps and kind of is random. So I think I'm gonna leave it like that. So I will see you when it's time for the unmolding. All right, good morning. Let's go ahead and get this unmolded. I'm super excited. I can't wait to see how it turned out. Hopefully. It's as amazing as the last one I made. All right. Okay.
look, you can see through on here. That's exciting. All right, here we go. Ready? Oh, boop. Oh my gosh, I love it. I love it so much. Here's what it looks like on white paper. And then if I switch it over to the dark, this is what it looks like in the dark. I think this has so many cool features with the green and the purple crushed glass. And then it's got a streak of white. And then here's some purple. And then there's the um, cellophane paper. Here is the glitter. Followed by some more white. It is just so cool. I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, two for two. Oh my gosh, I love it. I hope you enjoyed this. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions or have anything you'd like to say. And I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.